The trophy tour started on the 11th of September at the National Football Stadium. Just like the Pacific Games Baton, Oil Search came up with the initiative of taking the Rugby League World Cup trophy around Papua New Guinea to the different provinces. There were two trophies on board flight PX-104 from Port Mosby to Ley, the Paul Barrier Trophy and the PNG NRLC Cup, courtesy of the Ley Snacks Tigers, the 2017 PNG NRLC Cup winners. They toured Ley City before stopping over at the Ley Rugby League grounds. The trophy left Ley for Bulolo on a chopper, flying through the mountains of Morobe province. After the stop at PNG Forest Products, the trophy was then airlifted to Harmony Gold Mine. The trophy was then taken to Wau, where the first ever rugby league match was played in Papua New Guinea. After Wau and Bulolo, the Oil Search Trophy Tour continued their journey to Lay Secondary School. From Lay Secondary, the trophy made its way to the Lay Eriku Oval, then to Lay Biscuit Company, SP Brewery, and Mapai Transport. From Lay, the trophy traveled to Goroka and made a brief appearance at the Goroka show. There was a lot of color and fanfare as the trophy was taken around town in a motorcade. The Paul Barrier Trophy made a brief appearance at Hanganofi in Eastern Highlands Province. As always, the trophy was received by excited people. Thank you, too. The Paul Barrier Rugby League World Cup Trophy Tour visited oil search camps, Moro and the Ridge site in Kutubu. They also visited Sisibia village, Agogo camp and Lake Kutubu in its last leg of its Highlands tour. The trophy visited SP Brewery while in Port Mosby, then was taken to the National Football Stadium for the Prime Minister's 13th match. The Oil Search Trophy Tour continued their journey as they left Port Mosby for East New Britain. The Paul Barrier Trophy arrived at Tokwa Airport escorted by Oil Search Executive General Manager for Stakeholder Engagement, Garia Aupi, General Manager Stakeholder Engagement, Leon Baskins, and victorious PNG Hunters coach, Michael Marum. It toured Kokopo on a convoy before heading out to Kurakakaul, where it was received by a traditional Tolai welcome. The trophy visited Mount Tavurvur Volcano, the Rapindik Hot Springs, was decorated with traditional shell money and was welcomed by Tumbuan dancers at Vunakanao and was given the traditional Tolai name Topaulos Berrier. From East New Britain, the trophy traveled to Lihir Island where it was met by Newcrest staff and the Lihir community. The trophy toured nearby villages before traveling to Kaviang. The trophy was received by an elder from New Island. Look at something. Look at something. Give me a look at it. What the accident? Give me a look now. What is something you understand? The cup was then taken to Laraibina village, famously known for feeding eels. It was driven back on the Buluminski Highway back to Kaveng Town. The uh, World Rugby League Cup Tour has been a fantastic journey. Bringing it outside of Mosby and bringing it to our, our people, our really small people outside, mums and dads, daughters and children. And uh, for them to be able to, to have a touch, have a connection with the World Cup trophy. The Central Tour was launched at Kupiano Station by Central Governor Robert Agarobe. Um, on the note, I'd like to now declare the trophy tour um, officially launched. Thank you. The Central Tour saw the prestigious Paul Barrier Trophy float down a banana raft at Golupu Village, home of former Kumul's halfback Tony Killer. After visiting villages in the Abao Rigo district, the Cup started its tour in the Kairukuhiri district. As part of the Kokoda Track 75th anniversary, the first stop was at Owes Corner, where the cup was welcomed by Karuku Hiri MP Peter Iso Aimo. The last leg was the Port Mosby Tour, where it was launched at Kaugere by Mosby South MP Justin Chichenko. After the launch, the trophy toured the nation's capital. They visited schools and different communities in NCD, where a song was also composed by students at Kopkop Cop College. People from different 
they say, busy doing their own stuff. But when they hear about rugby, they fly from different places. Oh, we come together, making friends with each other. Cause at sports, we are friends. We are friends. The trophy ended its journey at the National Football Stadium, where it was handed over to the Rugby League World Cup Committee. On behalf of the Rugby League World Cup Organising Committee, to the board, our chairman and CEO, I'd like to thank everyone of Papua New Guinea uh, for their support and welcoming not only the Rugby League World Cup 2017 to this beautiful shore, but to allow us to take the Paul Barrier Trophy around this fantastic country and be welcomed by so many smiling faces everywhere we went. Uh, to do something like this is massive in scale. We can't do it without the fantastic partners uh, that we have for this tournament. And all search have been absolutely amazing uh, in organising and sponsoring this tour. So I thank them very much for their support, not only of Rugby League World Cup 2017 here in Papua New Guinea, but more importantly, for taking this trophy as far and wide as we could around this country. So thank you. The tour would not be possible without the support of Proud PNG Company, Oil Search, and other sponsors who have contributed to making the tour a success. Elijah Levette, National MTV Sports.